Welcome back everybody, my name is Gamma Trap, one word, and this is our tutorial series where we cover foliage like grass, vines, bushes, and trees. I have a lot of episodes planned for this entire series, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when each video drops. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, this is our second video in our foliage, foli foliage, Fo grass, <laughs> grass, leafy greens, leaves, vines, trees, etc. That stuff, bushes, you know, shrubberies. <laughs> that's this uh, series we're doing right now. Uh, last one was just like grass, just grass, grass, you know, blades of grass and stuff. This one's going to be a little sprout. I want, I want to talk about leaves for a bit, you know? So the first thing we're going to do as we talk about with all this stuff is the brushes. The brushes are hard round pressure opacity and soft round pressure opacity. Essentially, no matter what program you're in, it's either going to be a hard round brush that does this and leaves hard lines everywhere or a soft round brush that does this and leaves soft, soft stuff everywhere. I try to use these brushes in every single piece I do, just so no matter what program you're in, whether it be a free or paid program, you can totally have access to these techniques. It's all about the techniques. First, we're gonna start with the shape. Our shapes are important, so we're gonna get our hard round brush. Pressure sensitivity is turned off for the moment. You can have it on if you'd like. That's your style, that's your way. And a, and a sprout is just, just, <laughs> just a little, a little stalk comes out of the dirt. That's pretty much it. Actually, I kind of want to be a little small then. Now, this is a stylized piece. We're working with stylized form of art. And stylized is sort of like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, that kind of stuff. Stylized is just timeless. No matter what age, no matter how old they are, you can tell, okay, that was the art style it was made in. You know, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Now, with sprouts, they come out of the ground and they have little leaves. We're going to get into how leaves work pretty soon. But usually when sprouts come up, either they'll have tiny little leaves for like Brussels sprouts. Sprouts. <laughs> But as they get older, typically speaking, those leaves will go a little bigger. So that's what we're going to be doing. So first we got the stalk and then it branches out. So we'll just have two for now. And these branchings, the branches are usually much smaller than the actual stalk itself because the stalk is meant to support the weight of everything else, which is usually why sprouts and stuff bend when they're not very healthy because they can't support the weight of the leaves and stuff overhead. Now we're going to turn on shape dynamics, which is... The size of your brush is dependent on how hard you press. And the reason we're doing that is because... We're adding little bins. Now we gotta find out how big we want these actual actual leaves. I kinda like that. That ain't too bad. Pretty good. Okay, so see these branches way out here? This is actually part of the leaf now. And now we get into talking about leaves real quick. You'll notice a leaf has the stem of the leaf, but the stem goes all the way to the tip. Pretty much, for the most part. Sometimes it doesn't. But most leaves, it goes all the way out to here. And then it has little veins and that's your typical leaf we are drawing the stem right now that's what these are all right so now at this stage of a plant's life with uh heavier leaves typically depending on the leaf of course if you're looking at the leaf sideways it kind of looks like this and here's the stem and that's because if you turn this leaf to face you that leaf looks like there's the stem that leaf kind of unfolds like that so the leaf has this natural almost like v bend to it that's because leaves uh kind of fold out through the stem plus the stem the spine you could say of the leaf supports the weight of the actual leaflet the actual like flap of, of the leaf so we're gonna draw these leaves in in the process of kind of unfolded kind of not just so we can have a better understanding of leaves now let's actually clean up these branches a bit because i want them to be interesting all right boring shapes boring lines are not interesting and this is stylized work there's three rules to stylized work. If you've been here before, you pretty much know them by heart by now, but that is shapes within shapes, don't be boring, and the rule of cool. This is shapes within shapes. Shapes within shapes means if I'm gonna make a, a thing of fire, I'm gonna cut some interesting shapes in that fire to make it interesting. And the rule of cool means it doesn't necessarily have to make sense, like it doesn't have to be realistic as long as it's cool looking. If it looks cool, it's fine. You're good. If it's cool, it works, okay? It, it just works. It just works. Now we got the stems in place. Have a little thicker. Not that thin. Relax eraser. Cool. Now let's get the actual leaf in there. Now the leaf doesn't usually start right at the base. Usually the leaves have a stem. They have this spot here that's sticking out. So the leaf itself will start maybe over here. Like I said, these are these leaves I'm making are kind of almost unfolded. So right now, here's the stem of the leaf. Right now, we're doing this from the side angle. Right now, we're doing this sort of situation because the other side look kind of like this. Because again, if we turn it towards us, it has this V situation. So that's what we're doing. So we're just drawing that V in action. 
And we'll do the same for this side over here. Again, doesn't start immediately. Has a little bit of stem to it. Come out a bit. Up and it'll come flatten out a bit. And we can clean these up whenever we want. So don't worry too much about them being weird or nasty or not making sense yet. Let's actually give this a little more thickness. I kind of like the idea of these leaves being a little long on the sides. Let's cut into that a bit. We don't want the stems to be too wide. Nice, nice, nice. Now what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna try the lasso tool. For those who are unaware, the lasso tool up here is a selection tool. You make a selection and you can paint within that selection. Now we can totally make another layer and then make a clipping mask if you want to, but we don't use the lasso tool all that often. I mean, like professionals do all the time, but I'm saying us in our tutorial series, we haven't used it that much so far. So let's use it right now, okay? So let's focus on the front, the front side of the V. It's gonna make a very basic selection, doesn't really matter too much because we can hold down Alt or Option and you see a little negative sign next to your lasso tool. If you cut another shape inside there, it subtracts the new selection. So if you wanted to do that, now your selection is just these two sides. You just cut a big old section out of it. And if you wanted to add to it, you hold down shift. And now I have two selections, see? So use this, this tool to cut away and add to until you have the shape that you want. So don't worry too much about like fidelity and how closely accurate it is at the very beginning. It almost doesn't matter. All right, now we're going to use the soft brush. So we're switching to the soft brush. And the reason for this is because we want soft tones. So we're gonna, near here, the, near the base of the stem, we're going to gently brush on a little bit of the darker green. Grab the darker green, by the way. A little bit of the darker green, not much. Just around the base. And then we're gonna grab our lighty, sunny lime green. And we're gonna brush on the top. Again, trying to be gentle. If you need your brush to be bigger or smaller, experiment with what size works best for you and then we can blend a bit by blending i mean hold down alt or option with your brush selected to have brush selected and that gives you this eyedropper tool if you click anywhere on on the color of the canvas it'll show you that it's it's deciding if you want to pick whatever color you let up on so if you come to the middle the intersection between the dark and the light we get this middle let go right there and you've selected that color green and you could brush on the middle and that's how you gently blend you can grab the lighter blend it further in darker blend it in and just do this until you have a nice even transition between a little bit of dark and then goes lighter towards the edge don't forget to get the green down here to add more color if you need a little more green it's a leaf don't forget, a lot of green and leaves. Now let's draw that shadow up a bit towards the tip of this. Make sure we get a good shadow color. And we're doing this because we're thinking of this leaf in a 3D space. We're thinking of how it's bending. We're thinking of how the V is. So if we unselect or deselect by hitting M and just clicking anywhere on the canvas, you'll see what we got so far. All right, now that we've got that selection done, let's switch back to our hard brush and let's continue on the other side. So we're gonna grab our green, and we're gonna brush in for the other side of the V. So remember, we've just done this side. Now we're gonna be doing this side. Now I'm thinking we can have a bit, just a bit of that lime on the edge, but we're gonna keep the green there for a little bit and I'll explain why in a second. Now we are actually going to cut into this side over here. So we're gonna grab that green and we're gonna draw it in towards the bottom. So the shape we're essentially making, this is kind of hard to describe, so bear with me, but I, it's, it's like a bent taco. You know how we got taco shell on this side, but then it kind of opens up near the bottom? That's kind of what we're going for, but it's, it's more open on this side. So we open it up around there, and that's, this is, there we go. Now you'll never look at leaves the same. <laughs> You're like, oh wow, every leaf, when it's, when it's kind of in this V formation, looks like a taco. Nice. So let's continue with that kind of trail of thought. We get our hard brush still. And let's grab the dark color and just kind of blend it in a bit. And using this as our little guide, let's put a little sunlight right on the top there. We're going to grab our green, kind of blend it back. Now, here's one of the cool things about stylized stuff. We got to we gotta give this, this edge of the taco here a little bit of a rim. So we're going to get our hard brush nice and small and kind of dark. And we're going to start... Just kind of make that shape and just do this until you get it close to where you like it. I can't, I'm actually gonna like it right there. Nice. Go me. <laughs> and we're only doing that to the rim that's facing us. I'm just gonna blend 
that back color back a bit. And now I'm gonna get a much brighter lime green, much closer to white, but it's still, it's still like lime green, just maybe a little extra green, a lot closer to white. And what we're gonna do is with our hard brush nice and small, we're gonna gently start at this edge and increase your smoothing if you need to. And what I like to do is I like to rotate the canvas to make it easier on my hand because my hand does this naturally because I'm a righty. Just gonna find, there we go, that edge. We like the dark near the base and then it gets lighter with the with the sun. I'm gonna erase a bit of this shape. We're gonna stem a little bit more, make sure that's nice and dark. I'm gonna grab our lime sun, rotate the canvas a bit for myself, and we're gonna switch to our soft brush because our soft brush is the best at blending smoothly. Like watch this, grab that color and grab that color. Now it's just two colors, right? With our soft brush, we're gonna just grab the yellow, Gently brush in the middle. Grab the green, gently brush in the middle. Grab the new color that they created. Gently brush outward, both directions. Brush back, brush back, brush the middle. And now it's a smooth transition. From one color to the next. And that's blending. That's blending with a soft brush. And I like to blend almost all of my skin with soft brushes, but the same with smooth textures like polished stuff, polished stone, polished wood, polished metal. If it's smooth on the surface, nice soft brush blending will do you good. So we're gonna do that. Get your brush kind of small at first. We're gonna gently line the edge. Small as it needs to be. And we're gonna slowly make it a little bigger, very gently. Bring it out towards the center. Grab our green a bit. We're gonna very gently, <laughs> can't emphasize this enough, very, very gently smooth out this whole thing. All right now, we're gonna grab that dark color. We're gonna push it up here a bit. And the reason for this is because this layer isn't facing up so much as it's facing to us. So let's look at the taco here. All right, so here's, here's our taco, right? We're over here looking at it this way. Eventually, the taco will flatten out. But until it gets to this spot right here, it's still facing us. It's, it's still facing up and the sun's coming down. So if the sun's coming down, the things facing upwards get the most light. The things facing sideways are still kind of in the shadow. They don't catch all that light. So instead of this bright sun hitting the, the part that's facing upwards, we are gonna get a little bit of darkness on this side facing towards us. Now make sure that soft brush is nice and small. If the brush is too big, it's gonna start brushing over all that other cool stuff we did. And it's cool to brush over it a little bit because we can fix it whenever we need to, but we don't need to yet, you know? Make that work easier for yourself. Now having said that, this rim here on the other side is facing up. So now we got this rim that we just did on this side of the V. There's still a rim on this side, and that's facing up. So we gotta make sure we give that a little bit of sun. And we're being gentle here. We do like a little transition from light to dark. A little more green in here. Too much yellow. Yellow's good and all for sunny plants, but you know, we don't need it if the entire thing, the entire plant is not yellow. And now we're gonna move the sun a little closer towards the base, just soft brush a little bigger. And this is just a balancing act between yellow and green at this point. Now, if the plant is wet, like there's dew on it, you can actually add white here because it's reflecting. It's reflecting the light. So for example, you have to be very gentle. You don't want to just put everything, you know, white everywhere. But for example, you could put, put some white right there and a little bit on the rim. If it's a, if it's a wet plant, like it just got rained on, but then you'd still want to blend. A little bit of back and forth action until you find a perfect little combo. So look how good you're doing. You're making a leaf. I'm gonna put a little more yellow on that because I, this plant's not necessarily very wet. I kind of like it being bright, but I don't need to be that bright, you know? And now here comes the, the, the best part. <laughs> We're gonna go to our eraser by hitting E on the keyboard, make it faster, or just clicking the eraser tool. Hard round brush, no pressure. So the edge of the circle is the edge of the eraser. And we're just gonna clean this up. Be quick and have nice, bold, smooth, fluid motions. And look at that. Cut into the stem a bit more. Have it look a little more stem-like. Look at that. It's a leaf. It's it's a leaf. You made a leaf. Grats. Now do it again. <laughs> 
<laughs> now that I've explained it all, we can actually do this much quicker. But we're just doing it with the sunlight on the opposite side. All right, so I'm gonna use the soft brush for the most of this early stages. Now we're going to make a clipping mask. So we're making a new layer, right clicking it, create clipping mask, then a soft brush, increase the size, grab a darker green, gently brush on the bottom. And a very gentle transition here. And you can erase if you need to with a soft brush. Now we're gonna do a little extra credit. If this is your first video of mine for my extra credit, near the end of the video, what I like to do is I like to just have a little lighting scene here. And I'm just gonna make whatever's I'm painting react to the light and make it fit on this pedestal that I've painted. Okay, and that's that's it. So just enjoy that. I'll be right back, okay? And there we go. That's our little sprout. That's 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 a little sprout. Look at it. Look at a little sprout. <laughs> all right. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope uh, you learned a little bit about leaves. That's the important part. And thank you also, by the way. We just reached 15,000 subscribers. I don't usually like to add numbers to these videos because it kind of dates them. But it's, it's I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice going back thing. And, and I'm really appreciative. So hopefully uh, you all are enjoying these free tutorials. I'm trying to hit every little thing, starting from the basics and working the way our way up to more complex things things to paint and I just want to you know do that for y'all because the main goal is to at the end have a huge just wealth of information that people can go back and check and and, and watch and learn and refresh themselves if they need to and just get you know things to practice because if you follow along my stuff you'll end up practicing a lot so thank you very much anyway leave a like in the video if you liked it a dislike if you disliked it sub to see more because I've obviously got a lot more tutorials coming out it's uh three tutorials a week Monday Wednesday and Friday so far I'm trying to I'm trying to spoil y'all as best as I can <laughs> thank you so much to my amazing patrons I appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me and I will see you in the next video take care <laughs>